Hello Aquarius, Simon Rising, and Venus, and welcome to another reading. Let's see the overall energy between you and the person that you're connecting with or will be connecting with. We have worth waiting for, and then we have this could be the one. Ooh, I kind of like this combo. I kind of feel like somebody feels like they finally found that person for them, which I like. I really, really do like. Um, it might even scare this person at the same exact time, but let, let's see. It, let, let's, let's just get into it, right? We're going to focus on you first, and then we're going to jump over to them. Still keep in mind, you might resonate more so with the person to the right of me than you do with the person to the left of me, and that's okay. Just kind of pick and choose who you resonate more so with. How does Aquarius currently view this relationship? We have the Ace of Wands. We also have the Moon. Okay. And then we also have the Ten of Cups. All right. How does this person currently view this relationship? We have the Page of Swords. We have the Nine of Pentacles. And then we also have the Fool. The bottom of the deck. We do have the Knight of Swords, interesting, with the Five of Pentacles, and we also have the Page of Pentacles with the King of Wands, and then we also have the Empress, and then we have the Devil. Okay. I want to focus on this person first, Aquarius, and then we'll jump over to you. I kind of feel like a lot of you are dealing with this Empress. Now, if it's one thing that I will say is that I really do like this person, don't get me wrong. The fact that this person is showing up as a fucking Empress and a Nine of Pentacles, I mean... It doesn't get no better than this Aquarius. Like, it really, really doesn't. I mean, this person is somebody who's very, very independent. And the fact that they're showing up as an empress is kind of telling me that this is somebody who's very attractive. This is somebody who's very intelligent. This is somebody who's emotionally mature. Um, this is somebody who just has their shit together. You know what I mean? I feel like, you know, you're dealing with the total package, Aquarius. It just, it just, not, it just doesn't get any better than this, right? Now, with all of that being said, between you and I, Aquarius, I don't feel like this person fully trusts you. Let's just kind of throw that out there. I kind of feel like this person is kind of looking at you like, mm, I don't know about Aquarius, okay? They might even be looking at you like you're a playboy slash play girl. Um, now, it kind of looks like this person's choosing to kind of give you the benefit of the doubt, okay? Um, they are trying their hardest to not judge a book by its cover, but they are kind of looking at you, Aquarius, like you're like this player, okay, who may not even have their best interests at heart, but there's a possibility that they could even be wrong about you. So I do kind of see this person choosing to kind of give you a chance, okay? Now, with that being said, this is not somebody who's going to allow themselves to get too attached or emotionally invested into you because they are kind of coming into this whole entire situation with their doubts and their reservations. Oh boy, do they have them because they're looking at you like somebody who may not have their best interests at heart, somebody who's after them for the wrong reasons. And I feel like the list goes on and on, but I feel like this is somebody who's judging like a book by its cover. I kind of feel like, you know, once this person honestly gets to know you, they're going to start to realize like, oh shit, like I was wrong about this person. They're not actually that bad, you know what I mean? But I feel like it's going to take some time because right now, this is somebody who's playing it safe, all right? This is somebody who's playing it safe, but I like this person, man. They're showing up as an empress and a nine of pentacles. It doesn't get any better than that. I mean, this is somebody who has their priorities straight. They got their shit together. I mean, what's not to love about this damn person, you know what I mean? But I feel like, again, when it comes down to you, they're going to give you the benefit of the doubt. There's a possibility, dude, that they could totally be wrong about you. Maybe you're not a bad person, right? Only time will tell, right? And that's kind of how they're looking at this whole entire situation. With the Ace of Wands and the Moon and the Ten of Cups being out here, I kind of feel like when it comes down to you specifically, um, Aquarius, this is somebody that you can definitely see yourself having a future with. Uh, and this is somebody that you do want to pursue a future with. I just kind of feel like right now, 
you know, you're choosing to kind of take things rather slowly with this person in particular. I do feel like you're taking this person seriously. I think that you will love nothing more but to establish and create a life with this person. But I kind of feel like right now, you just want to kind of take things day by day when it comes down to this person in particular. Because, you know, the last thing that you want to do is jump the gun uh, with this person in particular. And then it backfires in your face. You know what I mean? So I will say this. Your emotions run pretty deeply for this person. I will say that. But again, I don't feel like you're going to allow your emotions to really get the best of you within this whole entire situation. Um, I kind of feel like, again, taking things slowly with this person um, is something that you feel more comfortable in doing. Mainly because you don't want to rush things with this person because what if it backfires, right, in your face? Um, so even though you love you know, what you see and how things are going here between you and this person, you still need a little bit of time. Um, and I feel like, you know, for the most part, there's nothing wrong with that because I don't even feel like you're dealing with somebody who's trying to rush into absolutely anything with you. How does Aquarius feel? We have the Hermit. We also have the Page of Swords. And then we also have the Three of Pentacles. The more you get to know this person, the more you're starting to really fall for this person. There goes the fool in love. Yeah, the more you get to know this person, the more you're just like, oh my God, like, that's it. Like, this is my fucking person. Like, it doesn't get no better than this. Um, and I kind of feel like, again, the way that you're approaching this whole entire situation um, you know, is like the best way to honestly approach this entire situation here between you and this person. I feel like, you know, with that page of swords, three of pentacles, hermit card, you know, this is you wanting to really take that time to really get to know this person, you know, and take things slowly here. But it's like, again, it's like the more you get to know this person, the more you start to fall for this person, for this empress. True pair situation here between you and this person. I kind of feel like you're trying your hardest, man, to not jump the gun with this person because again it's like you love everything about this person there's not one thing that you don't love right about this person in particular and a big part of you is, a big part of you is like fuck it let, let let me just pull the trigger and just make this happen already between me and this person but you're trying to kind of like tame yourself which i like there's nothing wrong with that there's nothing wrong with that how does this person feel okay we have the Nine of Cups, very nice, with the Two of Pentacles, and then we also have the Six of Cups. This person genuinely does love, like, how things are kind of, like, playing out here between you and them. One thing that I also love about this person in particular is how independent they are. Like, I absolutely love that about this person. This is somebody who's very, very independent. This is somebody who takes very good care of themselves. This is somebody who just has their shit together, man. It's like, it doesn't get any better than this person, man, but... Um, with all of that being said, I kind of feel like, you know, this is that type of person that takes time to really dedicate themselves to you and this relationship with you. But this is also somebody who likes to kind of take time to kind of devote it to themselves. You know what I mean? So I love the fact that they have like that sense of like balance in their life where, you know, they're kind of taking time out to really focus on you, but also kind of focus on them and, you know, the life that they want to create for themselves, things of that nature. So looking good Aquarius it's looking really fucking good what actions will Aquarius take toward this person are moving forward we have the emperor we also have the magician and we have the ten of swords I do want to look at the ten of swords but I'm gonna leave the lovers out here tell me more about the ten of swords you're falling for this person between you and I you're falling for this empress they don't gotta know about that but between you and I Aquarius you're falling for this person and it's freaking you out, homie. It's freaking you out. What do you know? The fool. And with the fool and the lovers, and here you are, this is telling me that you're falling in love with this person. And it's scaring the hell out of you. It's definitely scaring the hell out of you. It is. But you're an emperor, right? You're very determined to see this through. This Ten of Swords doesn't basically represent you bringing this relationship to an end because you're scared. No. I mean, the Emperor is somebody who's very determined to see something through. It kind of looks like you're sold. Okay? That's it. This is your person. 
And it kind of looks like you're very determined to manifest the relationship that you want with this person in particular. I kind of feel like you you know everything that there is to know about this person. You like absolutely everything about this person. And you don't necessarily feel like you have to continue to kind of hold back anymore. And it kind of looks like you're choosing to kind of jump and take that leap of faith when it comes down to this person in particular. So with that being said, in the end, you will fall for this person. That's besides the point, Aquarius. Is it going to freak you out? Absolutely. But you're very determined to push through this, this fear that you have and manifest the relationship that you want with this person to fruition, which is with this empress. I don't blame you because I even me looking at this person, I'm like, damn, I'm falling in love. What actions? There we go. True pair situation here between you and this person. We do have the emperor and we also have the empress. Let's just throw like the lovers in, in, in the middle. I kind of feel like, again, in the end, things are going to work out here between you and this person. I kind of feel like fear is going to really start to get the best of the both of you because I see that happening, Aquarius. I mean, this person is showing up as the eight of swords with the empress and the eight of wands, okay? This is kind of telling me that... This is like somebody who's a little bit fearful about what, you know, the future has in store when it comes down to you and them, but they're also very determined to see this relationship through because you're very determined to see this relationship through. Now, with all of that being said, on an intuitive level though, I kind of feel like their intuition is telling them to go for it and I kind of feel like your gut is kind of telling you to jump and it kind of looks like the both of you are jumping. Um, so it is gonna be a little bit scary, one thing that I will say, but the fact that the both of you are very determined to see this relationship through is kind of telling me that good things are coming for the both of you. And I kind of feel like moving forward, you know, things are just going to continue to grow and evolve here between you and this person. I'm not worried about you and I'm not worried about them because there's two people here that clearly do want a future with one another. And it kind of looks like the two of you are very fucking determined to make that happen. So congratulations, obviously, to the both of you. I don't feel like you guys need any advice. I feel like you know exactly what it is that you're doing. And I feel like you're making a very wise decision to jump to, to you know take this leap of faith especially when it comes down to you know this person because man you're dealing with an empress slash nine of pentacles it doesn't it doesn't get any better than that it just doesn't you know I kind of feel like you're stumbling across gold and the last thing that you want to do um is not take that chance because the likelihood of you running into an empress slash nine of pentacles man that's I gotta be honest, that's kind of rare. And then they're also showing up as a high priestess. This is kind of telling me that you're dealing with somebody who has a lot of respect for themselves. This is somebody who has morals. This is somebody who knows what it is that they want. This is somebody who has their shit together. This is somebody who has their priorities straight. What's not to love about this person? You know what I mean? And I kind of feel like, you know, the both of you bring a whole lot to the table, which is something that I really do like because the two of you complement one another very, very well. Just like this person brings a whole lot to the table, so do you so with that being said obviously good luck to the both of you i don't feel like you guys need any luck because it kind of looks like in the end it's just going to work out between you and this person so with that being said i kind of feel like you finally found the one for you and i was kind of getting that in the very beginning you might be a little bit scared but i'm not worried about it i feel like once you jump you know, I kind of feel like you're going to realize that you made the right decision, you know, as far as like taking a chance on this person, the same applies for this person, man. So I will see you guys in your next reading. Bye.